should you get VPS or shared hosting? If you search online, majority will say go with VPS, it's a lot better value and you should never consider shared hosting. This is completely wrong and at the same time completely true. In order to understand the real difference between VPS and shared hosting, we will take a look at a lot of different providers and their offers. For example, Hostinger, very, very popular shared hosting. You can pay less than $3 for 100 GB SSD storage, on which you can store even 100 websites. This seems like a great deal, but let's scroll, scroll, scroll. And what is this? 1 megabyte per second storage speed and just 128 operations per second? This is low, very low, but maybe it's just Hostinger thing. Let's take a look at InMotion Hosting. Yeah, I told you, it's a lot better, twice as good in terms of storage speed, but it's still horrible. Maybe GoDaddy, yes. 10 megabytes per second. Now we are talking, it's completely fine. But then you look at pricing. In Hostinger, we had 100 gigabyte for less than $3, and GoDaddy, for the same amount of storage, asks $18. And that's special pricing if you prepay for three years. Three years. Okay, let's look for something more affordable. Name cheap. $3 per month and unmetered SSD. So let's say you can host 100 GB there. IO limit is mind blowing, 50 MB per second. It's the best hosting ever. But then they punch you in the face with CPU limit. You can use just 40% of one core. IO limit and CPU limit. These are your worst enemies when you search for shared hosting. A lot of companies will tell you that, oh, you can host 100 GB here, just for a few bucks. But in reality, your daily backups will take more than a day, in the best case scenario. And your site will be painfully slow. They do it on purpose, because they want you to go all in, upload everything, promote your site, and then you have big problem. They know it, and they will come and give you an option for upgrade that will fix your problems, but will cost 3 to 10 times as much. You either pay them for this upgrade or switch providers, but you already prepaid for one year or maybe even three years. You see, it's the best strategy for provider, they earn big, big money either way. You don't want to be that person that is manipulated into paying unexpected amounts of money just to host your website, right? This is exactly why everybody says just get a VPS. But you can choose even better option. Choose honest shared hosting provider. Our low end talk community is very active and there's plenty of offers. I will show you two most liked shared hosting providers in our community. First is Rocknet, 100% CPU limit and 80 megabytes per second I.O. Second is MyW, 200% CPU limit and 10 megabytes per second I.O. limit. No wonder both of them are liked, because both of them are doing a great job at providing balanced specs with no dirty tactics. Ok, so they have good limits that are high enough even for a couple of e-commerce sites, but why you should even consider them if you can get a VPS? Just take a look what they include in price. Control panel, application installer, cloud Linux, Lightspeed, Jet Backup. All of that costs money. Money that you need to pay if you choose VPS. Provider of shared hosting pays for license once and they can host 100 customers on one server with one license. And that's why they can include so much at low price. Good shared hosting from such provider is a lot better value than VPS. And in order to give you guys some context, let's try Rocknet shared hosting. I got it 
last year and I host a couple of sites on it, one of which is portfolio of my friend done in WordPress with popular leverage theme. Let's benchmark it. I will start with 100 visitors per second. I have German location for my shared hosting, but I will test from New York. So not only server needs to be powerful, but also connection between continents needs to be solid. As we can see, this is clearly not a problem for this hosting. So maybe 200 visitors per second. Yeah, no problem. I could test more and search for maximum amount of visitors per second possible, but I don't want to find the best case scenario possible. We see that hosting is good enough for 200 visitors per second, so let's stop on that. 200 visitors per second is 12,000 visitors per minute. Let's go back to Hostinger. They say that their 100 GB SSD plan is enough for 20,000 visitors per month. You see the difference? That's why I say shared hosting can be a lot better than VPS, but don't even consider these big brands. Maybe you are wondering why these big brands are that bad and have such high limits. Well, I already told you about their upgrade upsell technique, where even if you abandon the host, they will still get great money from you because you prepaid maybe even for three years, like in case with GoDaddy. But there is one more thing, affiliation. Earn at least 60% per sale. At least 60%. So Hostinger gets less than half and from that money, they need to pay for server, support, marketing. And also they are doing business, so they want to earn money. So real price of hardware is like, 10% of what you paid? What kind of hardware you can get for that amount of money? Nothing. As long as you don't put like 1000 customers on one server, then you can make 4000 per month in sales and 10% from that is 400 per month. It is plenty enough for hardware. So in the end, their strategy works like that. They pay high percent to affiliates and because of that they are recommended everywhere if you search online for shared hosting. In order to still earn money from these sales, they need to cram as much customers as possible in one server. Because of that, they need to implement heavy limits on each customer. Then if you will be able to run successful business and get visitors on such hosting, you will hit these limits very fast. Provider will give you option to upgrade for a lot of money, so you need to take that, and then they earn 100% from this upgrade without giving anything to affiliate. If you decide to switch providers, then they earn money too, because now they have extra capacity that they can sell one more time. That's all for this video. If you have any question or want to get best hosting in your budget, come and join our community, Low and Talk. Goodbye and have a nice day.